head. Her hair is blonde, it's evenly distributed, it's smooth in texture. And then your nail beds are pink. Uh, no pain or anything when I'm touching that. No. No clubbing of her fingernails. Her nail beds are smooth. Hyperlay refill is less than three seconds. All right, we're gonna start with your eyes. So I have a vision chart up there. I'm gonna have you cover your left eye and read it from left to right. Z, Y, X, V, A, C. Good, now cover your other eye. Z and Y. read it backwards, sorry. C, A, V, X, Y, Z. All right. So now I'm gonna sit across from you and we're each gonna cover, uh, you're gonna cover your right eye. I'm going to cover my left, and you're going to tell me which finger that you see first, all right? First one. Good. Now cover the other one, and do the same thing. Same finger. Good. All right. Now we're going to go on to your face here. Her eyebrows are equal in thickness. I'm going to have you look up just a little bit so I can see you. Your eyelids have no drooping. They open completely. They are equal. Her eyelashes are present. I'm going to pull down. Conjunctiva is pink and moist. Look that way and then this way again. Sclera is white. And I'm just going to use a Q-tip right here on your eye. Her corneal reflex is good. Arc is present. Her iris is blue bilaterally. Um, let me get my eye thing out here. All right, I'm just gonna have you look straight ahead. Her pupils are equal, round, and reactive to light, and no nystagmus is present. Her lacrimal gland is pink, no discharge. Okay, so now I'm going to have you follow my finger. So we're going to go this way. Up. Down. Good. Her six cardinal fields of vision are good. All right, so I'm going to have you cover your eye and look far away. Cover one eye and look far away. Good. And then have, I'm going to have you look into my light. Good. No movement. Her The cover uncover test is normal. Now I'm going to use my light on you here. And just look straight ahead for me. Her lens is clear, red reflex is present, optic disc is present, her AV ratio is 2 to 3. Go ahead and look at my light. Macula is present. Um, no uh, vessels around the macula and it is lighter in color. All right, so we're going to start, go on to, a, to your head. Head is symmetrical, no lesions. Face is symmetrical. Pigmentation is congruent through the whole face. Is there any tenderness anywhere that I'm touching? No. Okay, now I'm going to go on to your neck. Just going to feel. Neck is symmetrical, no webbing. Kind of move your neck around for me in a circle, big circle, look as far as you can that way and look again this way. Range of motion is good. Trachea is midline. I'm gonna have you gently stick your head up back. Good. And swallow for me. The hyoid bone moves with swallowing. Thyroid is palpable and also rises with the hyoid and cartilage. Now I'm gonna feel your lymph nodes. Let me know if you have any pain. We have preocular, postocular, 
occipital, sternocleidomastoid, submandible, submental, anterior deep cervical, posterior cervical, and supraclavicular. No swelling, no tenderness. And go ahead and open your jaw for me and close. And no crepitus in the temporomandibular joint. All right, now we're gonna move on to your ears. Mastoid is no, swen no swelling, no nodules. Gonna go ahead and take a nice look in your ear. Tympanic membrane is present, undo, and the handle of malice and light reflex are present with no perforations. Contour is slightly conical. All right, well now we're gonna go ahead and test your hearing. So I'm gonna stick this on the top of your head and let me know if you hear the sound greater in either one of your ears. Or if it's equal. Equal. So <clears throat> the Weber test is normal and now we're gonna do the rhyme test. So I'm gonna stick this next to your ear and then I'm gonna stick it back here and I want you to tell me which one you hear more. First one. Okay. And the rind test is also normal. We're going to go on to your nose. The nose is midline. Do you have any tenderness? No. No masses felt. No drainage. No swelling. And go ahead and sniff for me. And her nares are patent. Nasal mucosa was pink. Her septum was midline. There was no swelling in the terminals. Um, and then her lips are also pink. No chapped, uh, symmetrical on each side. And then go ahead and smile for me. Teeth are white. And I'm just going to pull down a little bit. And then open for me and stick your tongue out and say, oh. Uh, and I'm going to do that with my light so I can see a little better. Okay, do that one more time. And say, ah. Oh. Uh, okay. I'm going to put on my gloves. So I'm going to start by palpating the head, looking for any lumps, bumps, or lesions. And have you had any recent hair loss? No. How about any itchiness of the scalp? No. Okay, um, there was no lumps, bumps, or lesions. Skin was intact. I'm going to move down to your face. Can I have you smile for me? Frown, puff out your cheeks. Good, face is symmetrical. Now I'm gonna have you close your eyes. I'm gonna touch one side of your face. Tell me which side I'm touching. Left. Good, um, and you can open your eyes now. I'm going to have you open and close your mouth. Let me know if there's any pain when doing so. No. Good, no pain? No. Okay, no um, clicking or popping. Um, <laughs> yep, <laughs> okay, moving on to the eyes. I'm going to, I'm assessing or inspecting the conjunctiva, it's clear, sclera is white. I'm going to do a couple tests on you. Keep your head still. I just want you to follow my pet, okay? Good, keep it still. Good, now look at the pen and look at something behind me. And one more time. Good. Now I'm just going to, good, nice. Okay, eyes are pearl up, pupils are within normal limits, 35 millimeters. I'm going to take a look, oh, in regards to your eyes, have you had any drainage or itchiness of the eyes? How about any recent vision loss? No. Good, okay, looking into the ears, looking or assessing for any drainage. Have you had any hearing loss? 
No. Any drainage? No. Okay. Ears are symmetrical. Um, skin is intact, no lesions onto the nose. Nose is in, um, skin is intact on the nose, no lesions. It's symmetrical. Can I have you occlude one of your nostrils and breathe in and out? And to the other one. Good. And there's our patent. Now I'm going to palpate your sinuses. Let me know if there's any pain or tenderness there. Any pain or tenderness? Good. No. Okay, I'm going to have to take a look inside the mouth. Good. Mouth is pink, moist, no lesions noted. Have you, or do you visit the dentist regularly? Yes. <laughs> and do you have any difficulty chewing or swallowing? No. Okay, good. On to the neck. Looks like trachea is midline. Can I have you turn your head to the right? I'm assessing for a jugular vein distension. No jugular vein distension is noted. I'm going to now auscultate your carotid with the bell of my stethoscope. No bruise, bruise were noted there. Now I'm going to palpate. And the other side. Good. Um, pulse is strong, two plus, and equal. Now I'm going to feel all your lymph nodes. Um, let me know if there's any pain or tenderness while touching them. Okay, starting with the preauricular, postauricular, occipital, cervical, submandibular, submental and supraclavicular. Any pain or tenderness there? Okay, lymph nodes were non-palpable. We're gonna do some range of motion. I just want you to follow me. <laughs> Any pain or stiffness there? No. Okay, great. I'm going to move on to your lung sounds. Um, I'm gonna have you turn a little bit for me. Other way. I'm going to find the C7 and I'm going to have you, um, I'm going to listen to 10 sounds on your back, four sounds on your side and eight on the front for one full inspiration and expiration, okay? Okay. I'm going to find the C7. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. One, two, three, and four. Good. Now, can I have you turn to the yep. starting with the super sternal notch? Let's sing the ten on the front. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight. Good. Um, lungs are clear to auscultation, posterior, anterior, and laterally. Have you had any shortness of breath? You can turn towards me now. <laughs> any shortness of breath? No. Okay. Um, I'm going to move on to your heart sounds, starting with your aortic, which is located in the first and second intercostal space. Moving on to the pulmonic, located in the first and second intercostal space. Herbs point within the third, tricuspid within the fourth, and mitral within the fifth. And I would listen to the apical pulse for one full minute. Good. S1 and S2 were noted. No murmurs were noted. Moving on to the upper extremities. Um, have you had any chest pain? No. Good. Okay, now moving on to upper extremities. I'm going to just first palpate for any warmth and edema. Now I'm going to have you close your eyes. I'm going to touch one of your arms. Let me know which side I touched. Left. Good. Now I'm going to um, palpate your pulses bilaterally. You can open your eyes now. Starting with the brachial. Good. The radial. And the ulnar. Good. Pulses are strong too. Plus now I'm going to assess your capillary refill. Good. Capillary refill was less than two seconds. There's no clubbing or discoloration of the nails. Now I'm going to have you try and pull me towards you. Good. And pull away. Or push me away. Good. Push my hands together. Good. And push them out. Okay. Any pain or stiffness while doing that? No. Good. Now I'm going to um, assess your tummy. Patient would be supine for this. 
um, I'm going to inspect for um, symmetry, pulsations, um, contour, discoloration, distension. Um, now I'm going to auscultate all four quadrants, making sure there is a bowel sound in each quadrant, starting with the right upper, right lower, left upper, left lower. Good. Now I'm going to palpate the right upper, feeling for the liver and the gallbladder, right lower for the appendix, left upper for the stomach, spleen, and pancreas, and left lower for the intestines. And can you tell me when your last bowel movement was? Yesterday. And when your last menstrual period was? Today. Good. Okay, um, now I'm going to have you put your legs up for me. Good. <laughs> okay, I'm first going to assess, this is fine. assess the great toe for capillary refill. It's less than two seconds. Now I'm going to look in between the toes, making sure skin integrity is all good. It looks like it's all good. I'm going to palpate for any warmth or edema. And close your eyes. I'm going to now touch one of your legs. Tell me which one. Left. Good. Now I'm going to palpate your pulses bilaterally, starting with your femoral and your palpal teal and your posterior tibialis and your pedal pulse. Good. Pulse is strong, two plus. Um, now I'm going to have you point your toes towards me. <laughs> point your toe, or flex your feet towards you and point them towards me and try and push them together. And push them out. Good. Okay, you can put them down. Any pain or stiffness? <laughs> any pain or stiffness while performing? <laughs> while performing that range of motion? <laughs> no. Okay. And do you have any? And then we're gonna go ahead and palpate the neck for any tenderness or lumps. We're gonna palpate the trachea. It has good movement and it's sitting midline. And I'm gonna palpate the thyroid. Then I'm gonna have you swallow. Perfect. So the thyroid tissue is soft and spongy and there was appropriate movement um, when you swallowed. I'm going to have you swallow again without me touching. Perfect. And there was appropriate tracheal movement as well. Um, okay. And then we're going to palpate some lymph nodes feeling for enlargement, hardness, or tenderness. I'm going to start with the pre-auricular nodes, post-auricular nodes, occipital nodes on the back of the head, and then the tonsillar nodes, submandibular, submental. And then we're gonna palpate the posterior cervical on the back of the neck and the anterior cervical on the front. The last nodes we're gonna palpate are the supraclavicular. And none of his nodes are really palpable, which is normal in a healthy person. Okay, we're going to have you tilt your neck back and forth to check your range of motion and then side to side and then take it around in a circle. Any pain or tightness with that? No. Okay, so he has appropriate range of motion. Um, then we're going to move on to his chest and thorax area. First, we're just going to inspect. We know the rib cage um, is, in, is intact. Um, his chest is the appropriate AV ratio. There's no barrel chest or asymmetry noticeable. And then we are gonna go ahead and auscultate. Um, and before we do that, we just note that his respiratory rate is relaxed. Um, his, or his respiratory rate is normal. Um, his respirations are relaxed. Um, there's no obvious presence of um, kyphosis. And yeah, he's breathing easily unlabored. No, noise that I can hear so far. Okay, then we're gonna auscultate on the chest. Okay, start taking some deep breaths. Perfect. We're gonna do the same thing along the back. Can you rotate with your legs towards me? Oh, yeah, towards you. That's even better. <laughs> okay, keep taking deep breaths.
surgery. And then I'm gonna get under your arm here to listen to the middle lobe. Deep breath. Perfect. So all of his lung seal <laughs> seals. All of his lung fields sounded clear. Um no crackles, ronchi wheezing, and again, hypothetically, his shirt would be off to be able to listen better, but we'll let him keep it on for the purposes of this video. Um, okay, and then we're going to auscultate his heart in the five areas, first with the diaphragm and then with the bell. So we'll listen to the pulmonic area, aortic, herbs point, Tricuspid and mitral. Then we're going to flip and listen with the bell to the mitral, tricuspid, herbs point, aortic, and pulmonic. And I didn't hear any arrhythmias. His heart sounded. Um, regular rate and rhythm um, and I didn't hear any uh, thrills or anything like that. S1 and S2 were also present. Okay, actually first we're going to have you lay down too. We're going to listen to your heart while you're supine. And as he's laying down, I'm not noticing any jugular venous distension, which is good. I'm going to listen to those same five points again with the diaphragm first and then the bell. Listening to the pulmonic, aortic, herbs point, tricuspid, and mitral. And then again with the bell to the mitral. Tricuspid, herbs point, aortic, and pulmonic. Perfect. Um, next, we're going to look at um, his peripheral vascular health. Um, so his limbs all look to be an appropriate color. Um, there's no um, edema or varicosities. Um, and then we would check his pulses, noticing that the temperature of his extremities is warm, and again, there's no edema. For checking his radial pulse, we would also check the femoral pulse. And then the dorsalis pedis on both sides, and the posterior tibial. Those all felt normal.